No dime, no shoe, nothing, nothing. Dime, nothing. All this money that was passed through your account, what was it for? This 300,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? This 200,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? All this money was sent to you to take care of a jazzy. Did you do so? You lied to him. You ripped the young boy out. And now you're coming here to call me and you're going to defend this in court. Junior so, Pope called me same name with um, Easter. Junior Pope gave me your number and I gave your number to my team. And my team contacted you and had a verbal agreement with you that you're going to be paid 100000 for everything you do. You came in with your jersey saying he's your boy, that you're going to be taking care of him from your pay 100000 That was you guys' agreement. It wasn't my agreement. And when you finished that, we took you guys to the studio, you recorded and you were leaving and paid 300000 because Ojazi did something nice, not even you. Ojazi did something nice. I paid 300000 This is the evidence. Why is... What is my problem? Casey has never posted us. Yeah, and you say Casey has never posted you. You're a big liar. He's I posted you on my page. Yes. post with my brother. 9th of June. The song dropped 2nd of June. We posted you 9th of June. We posted even before 9th of June. You know, we kept on posting you even on my faster page. This is it. And you still say... Um, I never posted you. I haven't called you, bought you guys a suit, took you to a restaurant, make a video with my producer so that we can have a proper promotion for the job, which I did and I put it in all the blogs, tagged you. Now you said I never posted you. You're also going to defend it in court. You said I never called you for the music video. You're a big liar. This is a proof of the flight ticket that was sent to you and you refunded it back to us. This is the evidence. When I called you to come for the video shoot, we were supposed to shoot on a Sunday and we'll go to Obi's house on the Monday. But you refused. The other boys from Oweire and Wari that did the cruise dance, I brought in all of them, you know, and this is a the proof. They all came and they participated and we went to Obi's house the next day. This is it. You know, we all had fun, we took care of them. Why are you calling me names? You refunded the money that you're busy, you have other things going on. You were even called that same period to come and sign your publishing. This is the publishing. Everybody has signed the publishing. Only you and Ojazi. You refused to bring Ojazi when we told Ojazi to come and sign. You said no, that you don't know what he's going to come and sign. You seized him because you want to own him. You want to put him in a contract so he can't deal with anybody. How are you calling us names? You're not taking care of him. Why are you calling us names? He has never ever he given us a single show. The shows i called you for what did you do you turned them down you told me and you said it in your interview that you have b-boards here and there i have four back. shows booked my problem in i called you almost three times my billboard shows. full you everywhere in asaba brother time i called you you turned it down how is it my problem how is that my problem any good credo don't forget you told us not to deal with or jazzy that we should deal with you and all the money and every transaction passed through your account. These are all the receipts of the money that passed through your account. That means you've not been taking care of a jazzy. You've been lying to him. So you need to explain to him because these are all the evidence of the money passed through you. I've never dealt with a jazzy. The only time I gave a jazzy money was when he called upon me two, some weeks ago that his father was ill and I sent him some money in his account directly. That's the only money that's passed through my account to him. And also, I sent your wife some money. I told you to send your wife's account. And I sent some money to your wife. That's all. Every other money passed through your account. Why didn't you take care of these people? And you're calling me names. You're going to answer all this in court. You said you spent six days, days, days in Lagos, big liar. Easter. You never spent six you days, days in Easter. The laundry. Just two, three days celebration. The expenses, everything. Two days, the cost us almost 300 and something. Now, just the page. Or your piano, and I was excited. Everybody was excited, and I gave you 300,000 when you were going. Do you understand how is it my problem? Your feeding and every other thing in the hotel was paid for by my humble self. Why are you lying to the public that or Jazzy paid for you 300,000? Who gave a Jazzy? I will pull down the receipt, everything from the hotel, and I will get the proof. You will have to bring your proof of where you spent that money for six days and where you slept for six days. I want to see it. The last day we stayed, stayed we had to pay for the said, food we ate at about seven something thousand. That was the last day we spent. You came Lagos, you came to Lagos the second time on the island this time, and you stayed in the hotel for just uh, I think it was one night or two, which everything was paid for. I have the receipt, and. My team paid for your feeding and your hotel, everything in the night. And you were to travel fresh flight in the morning by 7. And I slept, I was sleeping. And you had a guest in the night that came in. And he, he or she ate about 17,000. They asked you to pay for it. How is that my problem? This is the receipt, my people. You said 70,000, meanwhile it's 17. That's why he has been exaggerating and calling me names. You're going to defend all this in court. And you said As of then, he and my age, I got 750.
Because crazy in the popo is sharing. Listen to me, my brother. If I see anywhere they pay you 750000 before your piano, I will triple that money. You that came to our house, we were spraying you money. You need a big ego. I sprayed you. My mother sprayed you. My brother sprayed you. My siblings sprayed you. And you were so happy, praising us. Today, you are dragging me for a song that is just barely five months. It's not even up to five months. I released that song 2nd of June. Go and check it. And this is just November. Check the time. You are going to defend everything you have said about me in court. Well, there is no way so you agree America, unless you I have to do the video. Me social media. And I called you on the phone and asked you, what is going on? And you said, no, 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 that people want to spoil your business with me. That you're going to make a video. And you made two videos. You told me you made one the previous day you were supposed to post. That you are going to make another one. And you did two videos. Did I put gun in your head? No, I was in America. Why would you be saying I asked you to put the video? Did I force you to do it? You're also going to defend this. And for you, Igwe Credo and Ojazi that have been going around performing Oja Piano and Oja Ginger, my song, without my permission, without consent, making money off it. You're going to pay back that money because you did all that and you're still calling me out. This is the evidence of a registration of this Oja Piano song. It belongs to me. It's my journal. You have to pay for it. All the money you made out of this song, you're going to give it back to me. Since you're calling me names, you're going to defend this in court. And Igwe Credo and Ojazi, pay us, pay us, pay us, you're saying. This song is barely five months old. I haven't even collected the royalties from the songs. It's still out there piling. I didn't want to collect it because I needed time. Now, I paid you guys professionally for what you asked for. Now, because the song is blown, you are expecting, like Igwe Credo and you, uh, Ojazi said, that the song has made 1.6 billion. Even if you make 1.6 trillion, it's my business, it's my money, it's my music. Do you know how much it costs to promote music? Do you know how much it cost me to promote that song? So it's my choice and my decision if I want to be kind to you guys and give you guys something. Go and check all the people I've worked with in the past. Most of them I bought them cars, most of them I helped, most of them I sent abroad. I've done a lot for a lot of them. Why weren't you guys patient? Why are you guys not even patient? Then you started calling me out from the one because you don't know what the business is. You don't know how to run the business. You're going to defend all these insults you gave me in court.